Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I want to show you guys how to set up an email autoresponder series in GetResponse. So this is my GetResponse dashboard right here, and this is just the home page of GetResponse. Once you sign in, you want to go to list. You're going to need to make a list in order to, to create an autoresponder series. So once you do the list, you go to create list, then you just name your list. All right, then you just go to create. Now our, our list pops up right here at the very top. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to menu and autoresponders, and there's nothing here because we haven't selected our list for one. You wanna make sure you select your list, so you just go down to this drop down. all right, and you wanna make sure that you're on your list. If you come to this when you have a series set up and you don't see anything, make sure you're on your list. And then you wanna to go to create autoresponder, and this is where you would name your autoresponder, okay? so. You would name if if you want them to get uh, automatic email whenever they sign up to your list. You want to make sure it's on day zero. It was on day fifty five for me because that was a series that I was working on previously. And I'm going to show you guys that series at the end of the video, so you want to hang around for that. All right, you want to make sure they're in the right list, and you want to make sure they send it immediately. Okay, that's if you want them to get it right when they sign up. Okay, and then you just name it. Uh, you know, this is. I usually name mine the titles of my email. So let's put email title here. All right, and then uh, maybe you don't want them to receive this email on Sundays, so you uncheck Sunday, but usually I keep that all on. All right, and then I go to choose message, and then you can, you're gonna choose from scratch. You can do from scratch if you want. So let's just X out there. If you have other messages, you can basically make one message as a template and then just choose that message and use that template. But if you go to create new email, usually I just put my email title here again so I know which autoresponder that is. All right, and then this is going to go to an email address that we have set up. I should note that you should have an email address set up in GetResponse. That's kind of for a different tutorial on how to just set your email up. Basically, you tell GetResponse what your email is. For example, mike at wplant.com. And then they send an email to mygetwplant.com and you confirm it. Uh, so that's how you get your email address set up. Just go to next step. All right, so these are the templates here. If you want to use one of these, you can go ahead and use one of these. I like to go start from scratch just when I'm starting out, just so I can kind of get a feel of how it is. I just go to one column and you can choose like you can choose any of these you want. But I just do one column and just go to use template. All right, and here's where you can customize this. You can if you want to choose an image, you can choose an image. So uh, if you have a image you want to use and you can just do this pull that up until you want if you want to add in other stuff you can add in stuff right over here I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial of how to make an email and get response but I want you to know you can set up an email and then after you set that email up how how you can use it all right so what you're going to do is you're just going to go in here and you're going to set up all your text spacings and all your whatever fonts you want to use all right, I would set up a section like this, and then what I would do is I get to where you like it, and you can add buttons if you need a button in there. All right, and then you just can change the link right here. So you get the text to where you like it. All right, and then you just go to next step. All right, and then it takes you back to this page, and then you go to save and publish. All right, and they'll receive that immediately once they sign up to your list. Now, if you want to do another one, and I should say there's a view right here. You can go to, this is a list view. You can go to a month view. So they got that on day zero. If you want to set up another one, just go to day one, or you can just go to create autoresponder. Make sure it says on day one, okay? Email title here, two, okay? Make sure you select your list. And then... For the send message on the second one, this is where you want to start thinking of, you know, you don't want to do same time they signed up because what if they signed up at 2 a.m. in the morning, then they're going to get an email at 2 a.m. in the morning and they're not going to read it until who knows what time. So I like to do uh, exactly at, and then you can choose a time like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. And then time travel is a great one. Deliver at recipient's local time. So everybody will get this at 9 a.m. in their time zone, okay? So I'm in California. I'm getting it at 9 a.m. in California time. If I'm in Florida, I'm getting it at 9 a.m. Florida time. If I'm in Australia, I'm getting it at 9 a.m. Australian time. All right, that's what's really cool about this email autoresponder series. Guys, go ahead and subscribe if you're getting some value out of this, please. So then you want to choose your message now. And now what you can do is you go into your autoresponder. And here's the one that we just made. 
just go to choose message. All right, you can just go to edit message now. Oops. Go to edit message. All right, this is where you edit your message. You're going to put your email and title. You're going to select your email address that's from. You're going to go to next step. All right, and now what you're going to do is since you already have your layout on top and bottom, you're just going to edit your message inside here. All right, if you want to add an image, another image, you can add another image right here or anywhere. If you want to add another text block, just add a text block right there. All right, you can uh, duplicate this text block very easily. Well, you can save it as a snippet and then it saves this section over here, my snippets. You see, this is something that I already wrote out for, let's see what it is, download a landing page button. Okay, so if I need to download landing page three in one of my emails, I have a button saved already. I can just pull it in and there it is. All right, but if you want to duplicate this, you can um, just hit this. Well, that's how you delete it, but you can just add a plus and it'll duplicate it right there. All right, so there's a lot of things that you can do um, with the with inside of the get response there. But I'm just gonna go to next step just so you, for this example, and kind of get through this video. Just go to save and publish that. Remember, we did the same time, 9 a.m. and there's email number two. All right, and then you can just schedule this all the way out, however far you want to go to. I'll show you mine, the longest one I have built out. So I have 10 days of straight emails. All right, and then every other day after that. All right, and you can see how they're laid out there. And what's cool about Git Response is you can actually go back in to your auto response to your list view here, and your list view will actually tell your stats. All right, the open rate, the click through rate, and everything to that extent. All right, so if you're sending emails to begin with and they're not being open or not being clicked, then you, you wanna do something to incentivize them to click your emails and open those emails, okay? So if you, I just wanna show you guys some statistics here. So there's one, I'm just gonna go to statistics. It's a fun word to pronounce for me. All right, so if you see 55 people open the email, it was sent to 80, 55 open, 36 clicked, one of them subscribed, two bounced, no complaints, which is great. And here it tells you, open, 55 open, 48, 36 clicked. Now let's see what they clicked. All right, and if I go to clicked right here, it will show me what they, two clicked on this link. All right, seven clicked on this link, six clicked on this one, and two clicked on this one. All right, and there's how it goes. So as you notice, this is spread out over 30 days, which is when I started my email list was about 30 days ago or so. For this particular email list was 30 days ago but that's how you can um, see your analytics see your stats and like i said you want to make sure that they're coming back for you to click on and once you get used to clicking your emails and clicking your links you have a better chance of them clicking your emails every time they get an email so that's how you set up an email autoresponder and get response there I hope you guys got some value out of this video. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I, let, that I need to go over with you guys, but that's just the basic on how to do your um, autoresponder there and get people added to your list. So if you guys want to learn more about landing pages, getting people to your list, just go to diviplanet.com and check out this site there. And I'll, I'll give you guys five free landing pages plus tips and tricks that you can do with Divi theme and how to generate leads. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.